And here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering this surgical pathology station, kindly tell me what are the differential diagnoses that you'll consider for this particular patient? Uh, carcinoma of colon and, okay. the, and the hematomatous polyp or abscess of the colon. All right. Can you tell me? Uh, all right, okay. What might be the pathogenesis of this condition? that you suspect? I suspect uh, colonic carcinoma or maybe right. hematomatous polyp and it is the adenoma carcinoma sequence and uh, uh, it is uh, due to uh, ulcerative colitis uh, uh, there is a, a loss of a tumor suppressor gene and p53 gene is lost so uh, there may be uh, hematomatous polyp will be formed and uh, there may be dysplasia, and it may lead to the uh, cancer formation. All right. Can you tell me how would you confirm your diagnosis? I will confirm by doing the colonoscopy and biopsy. All right. Okay. Colonoscopy has already been done, and they've already. Uh, yes. Yeah. The then I will take the biopsy, the biopsy test, and uh, other uh, laboratory tests I can do. And uh, like uh, um, carcinoembryonic antigen, blood CP, LFTs, urea creatine, basic, and CT scan abdomen, uh, I will do it. All right. It says but that biopsy will confirm. patient's condition is under control, but take patient is taking long-term immunosuppression medications. Why? How would these hmm. uh, immunosuppression medi medications would help the patient? Uh, immunosuppression? Uh, because it is ulcerative colitis, inflammatory bowel disease, and uh, if it is not controlled by the steroids and uh, uh, other 5 amino salicylic acid, then we will give the immunomodulator to suppress the cytotoxic, uh, uh, to suppress the disease. How would you define ulcerative colitis? Ulcerative colitis is the inflammatory bowel disease that uh, start from the rectum to backward uh, towards colon, and it is the uh, continuous lesion and it affects the young patients. No, your definition is not complete. Uh, it in affects what part of the it, it involves the rectum, mucosa, uh, mucosa, uh, superficial mucosa, okay. and uh, and goes uh, backward. And lesions and, are are lesions con continuous? Uh, lesion and continuous and it are really... are are the are lesions continuous? No. Ulcerative uh, colitis is continuously uh, backward disease. How colitis. would you differentiate between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease? Give me three or four yes. differences, please. Uh, first of all, ma uh, macroscopy. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, clinical picture is that uh, 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 diarrhea with mucus and blood discharge in Crohn's disease, tummy pain, however, ulcerative colitis. No, you're telling pain. me medical. Uh, on pathological difference. Pathological, yes, mean. pathological difference. Pathology. That it is the continuous, uh, continuous uh, backward uh, spread of the disease. Crohn's disease, skip lesions from mouth to anus, and uh, rectum is uh, speared. But in Crohn's disease, uh, Crohn's disease, uh, ulcerative colitis, the rectum is involved, and the uh, superficial lesions, mucosa involved in the ulcerative colitis, and uh, Crohn's disease, transmural. Uh, Crohn's disease is abscess formation. And uh, um, 
uh, uh, ulcerative colitis abscess uh, formation and among, Crohn's disease granuloma formation. Among ulcerative colitis and Crohn's uh, disease, which one is more susceptible to carcinoma? Uh, ulcerative colitis. All right. Okay. If you have to diagnose or rule out ulcer uh, uh, colon carcinoma because of ulcerative colitis, how uh, what is the criteria? How would you do it? Uh, if I want to want to differentiate, uh, rule diagnose, out, rule out ul ulcerative colitis. I will do the biopsy. And, You've done uh, the biopsy. Now, what is the grading? On what basis uh, would you say, okay, this is carcinoma? Yes, differentiation, differentiation, and uh, uh, and the involvement of the basement membrane okay, and uh, differentiation. How, yes, uh, if you can tell me about carcinoma of colon, how would you grade carcinoma of colon? Yes, uh, it is that uh, there are two types uh, of grading. Duke's classification, TNM classification. Duke's yes. is that mucosa uh, A, uh, B is the uh, mucosa and uh, and the muscularis involvement, and the uh, C is the lymph nodes involvement, and D is the distant matrices. That is, right. and other uh, is TNM. Considering this patient who is on immunosuppression uh, suppression suppressive medication. And you have to operate on this patient. So, considering it's colon carcinoma, what are the preparations that you'll take? You'll take. Yes. Uh, first of all, I will optimize the patient uh, nutritional support, IV fluids, and I will uh, uh, give the steroid to the patient. Uh, uh, maybe high dose steroid if he's on steroid immunosuppression on immunosuppression drug will continue. And uh, then I will discuss the uh, case in the multidisciplinary team. And uh, either he will, uh, I will do the uh, total or subtotal colectomy, leostomy, either laparoscopic and open. Immunosuppression drug will be continued post all right. All, all right, good. What else would you consider? Uh, uh, Why I mean, uh, considering nutritional status is important? Uh, because uh, it is uh, due to mild absorption and mild nutrition in this case. Uh, so uh, I will give either the internal nutrition, I will discuss dietitian or total parental nutrition to optimize the case what are the uh, regarding genes nutrition. Which are involved genes. in uh, in in the mutations of uh, oncogenes in this in colonic carcinoma. It, Yes, uh, oncogene is Keras oncogenes is involved in this case. What uh, is the Keras. role of Keras? Is the K Keras is the uh, Keras is active uh, by the out uh, of the uh, outward uh, signals and uh, it become inactive to active by the GTP and uh, when uh, and it become inactive uh, when the GTP is changed to GTP and the this active Keras involves uh, Keras involves the map. And PI3K. It causes mutation and dysplasia. Yeah, which causes uh, mutation Keras. and dysplasia. Yes. Keras causes yes. uh, dysplasia. What is the role of uh, P53? Uh, yes, P53 is a tumor suppressor. Gene, uh, yes. And? Gene, and uh, it, uh, it is involved in the intrinsic injury or extrinsic injury. And uh, it increases the cytochrome C yes. Uh, yes. activation. And cytochrome C activation causes causes apoptosis but if yes. tumor suppressor gene is mutated then cytochrome c is not so much and what happened that uh, bclx and bclxl they are uh, increase and it, in, it it inhibit the cytochrome c and cell will become proliferate all right what precautions or what advice would you give to the patient after uh, surgery Yes, uh, patient uh, will be with the stoma in this case because I will do the total colectomy. So I will uh, advise uh, about, first of all, nutrition, electrolyte balance and fluid intake and stoma care and uh, uh, continue his, her treatment regarding immunosuppression drug. Colonoscopy, uh, and I will uh, do the surveillance of the stoma that either the disease progresses or not. And it's, these are the things. An antibiotic cover and also stomach here. Yes. Uh, considering that there is stoma, what are the complications uh, that you should be prepared for? 
uh, after surgery there may be hemorrhage there may be necrosis stenosis and retraction protrusion of the stoma yes. and the parastomal hernia and skin excoriation is so important yes a nutritional a nutritional imbalance can occur due to this stoma very good what are the type of vitamin deficiency that occurs in a patient with stoma vitamin deficiency with stoma uh, yes. just uh, it may be uh, uh, vitamin uh, b12 deficiency can occur all the essentials all the essential vitamins a d e k all yeah. right okay uh, considering a uh, patient with stoma what are the investigations that you if you suspect that there is some suspicion or some necrosis or obstruction of the stoma so what are the investigations would you carry out yeah i, yeah, I can do the barium studies i can check it that is stool the analysis patient, stool analysis and barium studies Very uh, these two and then you can also rule out microcytic anemia Yes, microcytic. All right, very good. Last question. Can you tell me about the APC pathway? APC pathway, yes. APC pathway is the tumor suppressor. Uh, it stands uh, for what, please? Uh, APC, uh, APC gene, APC gene pathway, madam. APC. Yes. yes. Adimatous polyposis uh, colon part, gene pathway. That is the uh, long, arm, long arm of chromosome 5. This gene is there, APC gene. Yes. Adimitous polypus. And what happened, is, it is a tumor suppressor gene. And uh, in normal colonic epithelium, it binds with the cathinin B. When cathinin B is bind, then cathinin can be cannot be transformed into the DNA pathway, trans uh, uh, transcription pathway, and cell will not proliferate. But in WNT win, uh, pathway, uh, APC gene cannot combine with cathinin B and VNT stimulation causes cell proliferation or in colonic cancer what happened that APC gene is not present or mutated and WNT pathway is uh, activated and cell will proliferate because cathinin B will combine with the tra DNA transcription. Can you name few genetic factors which are present or which causes the formation of ulcerative colitis or chronic fibrosis in patients. Genetic factors, uh, family history, and uh, uh, and uh, genetic presence uh, of presence of. Uh, uh, what do you mean by genetic factor? But yes. syndromes, what syndromes? Uh, what genetic factors? What would be Gen present in uh, elders that can be transmitted to uh, family? Family history and uh, there is a history of family uh, history of what? Uh, family, family history of ulcerative ulcerative colitis. Presence of HLA-DR2 genes as well. HLA-DR. Oh, yeah. The tumor suppressor genes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.